had this sort of entrepreneurial streak going on, but I, I never really had the, the courage to go follow through with it. And it was actually when I came to Hong Kong, um, when I took that step back into business school, I, I, I always had the thought that, you know, acting modeling would be fun for a few years. Um, but, you know, there's a shelf life. And I realized as a, as a girl, as a woman, um, it's best to have a plan B, C, D, maybe even lined up. So uh, when I went to business school, I started looking around for things I could get involved in. I got really involved even doing a full-time pro uh, program at business school with uh, uh, other startups in the area. And then by the time I came out, I worked on four. So um, went from like uh, uh, You Buy Buy, which was acquired by Groupon, then um, Be Crazy, which is now Hong Kong's biggest e-commerce site, and then uh, Glamabox, which is a, a subscription commerce, um, like sort of a Birchbox clone for Asia. And then, then finally, I sort of got up the courage to now go it myself without any partners even. So um, uh, for me, it was kind of a full circle, like kind of realizing I had that in me and then really just going for it. In terms of starting your business in Hong Kong, this is where you started with this Glam Pact. What advice would you give in terms of doing business in Hong Kong? So um, I think when you do business in Hong Kong, a lot of people uh, forget that um, it really is I think a lot of Westerners come in thinking like, oh, this is a gateway to China, or, or other people come in thinking like, oh, Hong Kong is just a really small market, it's just, uh, uh, you know, several million people, but actually Hong Kong is a really good testing ground and proving ground. If your idea flies in Hong Kong, um, and if you can keep it sustainable within this kind of market, it's a hyper-concentrated, hyper, you know, uh, growth market, your idea will will stand the test. It's like a good litmus test. So I think one thing uh, people need to remember when uh, working, uh, uh, when, when uh, setting up businesses in Hong Kong, is that it's really um, about catering to all demographics. We're a very international city. You, it runs the gamut from you know entrepreneurs and uh, um, students and business people, uh, all different kinds of people, as well as people from all over everywhere. You'll have expats from all over the world. You have your locals. You have mainlanders. You just have a huge audience. So if you can keep your focus within Hong Kong and then use it as a, a, a testing pad and then a launching pad to you know go elsewhere, it's actually a really, really good city to uh, be a startup in. It's, it's great.